<sighs> G'day. Normally on my channel, I am pretty easygoing and like to make light-hearted entertainment, as most of you would know. However, as I said at the end of my last video, there is something I want to talk to you about, and I think it's important. Now, let me please just say, my goal is not to offend anyone at all. Just bring the mic a bit closer here. That's not what I'm about. I've never been about offending people. In fact, I go out of my way to avoid offending people where at all possible. However, this is a bit of a controversial video. And once upon a time, I would have, uh, and I have, in years gone by, felt free to say things that these days you're just risking too much for your channel. Um, because social media tends to be all <laughs> governed by woke people so but I'm going to take the risk this time to say something that's been on my mind ever since I heard about it and well leave a comment below if you agree after you watch this video if you don't agree please feel free to also leave a comment but make sure you watch and listen to the video twice because uh, like I may get home after shooting this and edit and go oh i forgot to say this or i may not get my story across properly i'll endeavor to but anyway so leave a comment either way but you know if you're just a keyboard warrior that wants to bash me saying oh you whatever explain why you disagree so here's the point anyway recently they announced here in australia that high schools are going to have gender neutral toilets now why have you got a problem with that steve because i'm going to be very blunt in this video and again i hope i don't offend anyone that's not my purpose at all there's no such thing as gender neutral i'll say that again there is no such thing as gender neutral i'm just going to put it to you frankly gender neutral is bullshit you can identify what you want. So like you can identify as that tree. Okay? But you're not a tree. You're human. We're all humans. Yeah? Oh, I identify as a cat. But you're not a cat. Okay? You can live your life like a cat if you want, or a tree if you want to stand still for the rest of your life. But you're not a cat or a tree. <sighs> Frankly, you are what you are. If in doubt... Bend over, look between your legs. You've either got one or the other. There's, I believe it's 1% of the entire global population that is hermaphrodite, which is, has both sexes. But basically, you're either male or female, okay? You can identify as whatever you want. Uh, um, Laurel Southern, I think it is, if you've heard of her, she, made a bit of a joke about this, she's very controversial. I actually identify so, as an attack like, helicopter, so, so it's really offensive. Like and I even joke about it with, with quite a few of my mates, because it's so ludicrous. You're male or female, end of story. With that very small exception I said. Now, I have to be careful, even I have to think about this too, and a lot of people tend to mix up other categories of things. That's not what this video is about. All of those deserve a video of their own, which I'm not going to do. My philosophy has always been live and let live, okay? If you're happy, whatever way you're living your life, then keep living your life that way. It doesn't matter what I think or he or she thinks or anyone thinks, okay? Happiness is rare enough to find. And whatever lifestyle you choose, keep doing it. Don't worry about what people think. I think, and this does tend to cross over into other topics, which I'm not trying to do, but people in general, a lot of people, like to fit into a category. And I'll say this briefly and not meaning to offend anyone of that persuasion, LGBTQ plus or whatever you want to say. Why do you even need to say that? Like if you're gay, you're gay. I'm heterosexual. I don't say I walk around, 
I'm in the heterosexual club. Anyway, that's a side issue. I'm just talking about the factuality and I guess on the scientific side of things that you're either male or female. Now, if you're in an accident, and heaven forbid you won't be, say someone's in an accident, the ambulance officers arrive at the scene. They radio into the hospital, you know, we're bringing in, they don't say a gender neutral person, middle aged, no, they're male or female, there's only two, okay? You can't turn around and sue a hospital if they've written down male or female and you then recover, thanks to their help, and I've been there, I've recovered, <laughs> nearly lost my life more than once. You can't turn around and sue a hospital and say, oh, but you said I was a male and I'm gender neutral. Like, that's rubbish. You're going to lose and you should lose. <laughs> because the minority, they want to be a class of their own, but they're just people. So what are you going to do, like have toilets, male toilets at high school, female toilets, and another toilet, which is what they want to do, for gender neutral. Like, frankly, if you want to go and, if you need to pee, go and stand up next to the tree, squat down next to the tree, back up into the tree, whatever. Do your business. Why should there be a toilet specifically for gender neutral? Because it's rubbish, and frankly, I'll tell you my opinion, and it's all it is. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. I think it's a mental illness if you seriously believe you are gender neutral. And everyone in my wide circle of friends agrees with the same thing I do. This is all rubbish, not just this topic, but other things that have happened, especially in recent years. It's rubbish, but nobody says anything, therefore, the people at the tops of governments or make policies, they're the ones that come along and decide, oh, well, this is how we're going to do it. If no one challenges it, that's why it gets through. So back to my main point, the silent majority. Have you heard of the silent majority? That, in fact, is most of us. People are too afraid to speak out and go, this is ridiculous. And this is why this tiny, relatively tiny group of people uh, I'm talking about those that are gender neutral. They want to fit in and they... It's like when I was a union delegate many years ago. You'd have a small group of people would come along to the meetings, but the rest wouldn't. And then it's the rest that would ring me up and say, oh, complain about something. And I'd go, well, did you bother coming to the meeting? No. OK. So this is why this stuff, this bullshit, gets perpetuated around the world, no matter what topic. So maybe write to your local minister, start a petition or something like that. And maybe if enough people speak out, we can have change. As I said, there are other categories that I may disagree with as well, but I'll refer to what a mate quoted a few years back, and it's a very good one, and I do believe in it. We may disagree, but I will defend to the death your right to have that opinion. Anyway, like I say, I'm bound to have forgotten things because this has been on my mind for a couple of weeks since I heard it. So comment below. Tell me if you agree. And more so, if you disagree, tell me why. Where's the flaw in what I've said? OK, well, meantime, I've come down here particularly early <laughs> trying to beat the rain, which I didn't really beat. So now I'm going home for a coffee <laughs> and uh, get some fuel because I'm running on fumes. All right, I hope that hasn't offended anyone. I've tried to explain that was not my purpose. But if people don't speak out, we get nowhere. All right, cheers and see you later.